looking for the perfect Christmas song to play this holiday. This one has a nice slow pace, a beautiful melody, Bing Crosby's White Christmas. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin. This is Maggie May, and she knows there is a treat in my pocket because we're trying to reward her lately for being a good girl. All right. So my wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. We're here for a great Christmas tune, a little white Christmas by the great Bing Crosby. <laughs> so let's get going. Okay, for this lesson, uh, playing along with the Bing Crosby on the record, which I recommend doing, you're gonna need to use a capo on the second fret. But for the purpose of this song, I have the capo on the fifth fret just so it matches my voice a little better. So when I sing, it doesn't sound incredibly crazy. <laughs> so um, you're gonna play along with me with this lesson. Make sure your capo's on the fifth fret when you're playing along on the record, second fret. We'll need to know a, a few open chords, some easy open chords. And if you'd like a much more detailed lesson on these chords, you can check out the uh, Vic. We'll leave a link for you below. Got a lesson for you for the first eight chords you should learn when you're beginning to play the guitar. But for this lesson, we'll need to know a G chord, an A minor chord, a D chord. A C chord and finally an E minor chord and there'll be kind of one main strum pattern although the ends of each verse the last line of each verse um, stick around for those because they are different than this main strum pattern but for the bulk of the song you need to know this strum pattern bass down up down up bass down up down up oops Nice steady pace. This is, uh, if you're playing along with the record, Bing's really got it slowed down. He's got that very great voice where he's just kind of drawn all out. It's, it's great. So bass down, up, down, up. And when I say bass, I mean the bass or root of each chord, which is gonna be different for each chord you play. So for this G chord, the bass is the sixth string. For the A minor, it's the fifth string. For the D, it's the fourth string. The C is a fifth string. And the E minor is a sixth string. So when I say bass in this strum pattern, it's gonna change for each chord that you play. And for the song, um, I think what I'll do is I'll play it through the verse, uh, the first verse, and I'll just kind of sing the chord changes. But if you wanna do a little intro, Say so you're playing solo and before you kind of start singing the song, I would do uh, one strum pattern on a G, an A minor, a D, and G, and then get into the song here. So the, it starts on a G for a couple of strum patterns. So it's, uh, I'm dreaming of an A minor, D, C. Just like the A minor I used to G, D, where the G tops glisten and C, A minor to G, E minor in the A minor, D. And I'm doing a little uh, embellishment here, kind of changing up a little just to kind of keep things interesting and help with the transition to the next verse. So for the most part, those bass down, up, down, ups are gonna sound fine. For the last line of the first verse, the hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm doing a little fancy here on the A minor and D, the last two chords. So you have a G here, E minor, is the sleigh bells G sleigh bells in the A minor D so for the strum pattern on that A minor I'm doing a down 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 up down and then to the D is a down up down up up down up it's all together here sleigh bells in the snow We get into the second verse. 
And for the second verse, we have a lot of the, uh, similar similarities to the first verse, except for the last line. So we have a G beginning here on that second verse. I'm dreaming of an A minor, D, C, with every A minor, I, G, D, may your G's be E minor and C, A minor, and may G your Christmases be Y. So a little difference there for that last line. And may all your Christmases be Y. That's just a different strum pattern on the A minor and the D. I'm just doing a bass down strum. So it's a little bit of a quicker chord change. You might want to just kind of practice going A minor to D, A minor to D. So all your Christmases be Y. Oh, it's great. I really like the endings to kind of spice it up. Mm -hmm. So it's time for you to relax and learn some guitar. So grab that guitar, make sure you're in tune, slap a capo on the fifth fret, and you can play along with me. We'll do that uh, first verse here. All right, you ready? We're gonna do a little three, two, one, and that little, there's little intro chords. So three, two, one. <laughs> Christmas, just like the ones I used to know, where the treetops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be white. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> So hope you enjoy that one. Add that to your set list for those get-togethers this holiday. And to check out three more Christmas songs using just three chords, check out this video that I made for you. And as always, Vicki, Maggie, and I thank you for your support and your views here on YouTube. And always remember that you're never too old to learn, and we'll see you for the next lesson. Take care.